He looks like a musketeer that's yeah. fallen asleep because he's drunk and his mates are drawn on him. That is harsh. That's harsh on the, the mumblecore rapper there, Johnny. <laughs> Hey, beer lovers, and welcome back to Beer Geeks React, the show in which we look at the advertising, the marketing, the documentary making, all the cultural ephemera that have come out of the fact that we love to drink a pint. Uh, today, we're going to be drinking some delicious green diamonds from Other Half, yep. one of the bona fide, hypey celebrity breweries. It's funny you say that, Johnny, because I've got a selection of videos for you here of current high P celebrities. Wow, it's almost as if <laughs> before this was filmed, we had a conversation about what beer we should drink. I know, right? So you've got more celebrities for us. Yeah. And these are these are current, modern. I'm, cla ones. I'm claiming they're all current and hip. Oh, are we going to show our age? There's then? maybe a, there's maybe an old dog. Uh, no pun intended, in amongst them. Are the topics of these adverts going to be current and hype as well, or are uh, you going to be Do you like beer, Johnny, because they're all beer adverts? Right, okay, yeah, they, yeah <laughs> I like beer. I'm not sure I like the beer that they're advertising, necessarily. Yeah. I think we're going to start things off with... He is, I think, the modern-day sex god for a lot of people out there. I haven't done any adverts on telly. <sighs> you wish. We're talking about Jason Momoa. I'm probably saying that wrong. Not certain who that is. I said is. Victor Onox wrong a lot in my last <laughs> video. But um, Jason Momoa, he, you know, Jason Momoa, he's, he's, he's uh, Aquaman. He's uh, Carl Drogo in Game of Thrones. And he's, yeah, he's just like a super cool dude. He likes drinking a beer, we'll see in a minute. Okay. Riding motorcycles and being like rock and rad. So That's they're going all whole... alpha male, this brewery. Kind of, but he's he's like, he's an alpha male, but he kind of sends himself up all the time. Okay. So this is Jason Momoa, modern day sex god, advertising the black stuff, Guinness. Fast and Furious reference. Girly scream. You're two percent Irish. Yeah, I know. See that, Barry? That's all you need. <laughs> I'm a fan, Johnny. <laughs> right. So the point of this advert is that he loves Guinness and wants to be Irish. So he yeah. gets a test done. He is Irish. Two percent Irish. Two percent. Uh, yeah. So he's not Irish. He is Irish. He's not Irish. <laughs> uh, That's all it takes, Johnny. Uh, That's yeah. what they say. Who is she? Just, He's just another person who's like 1% Irish. Also, what, right, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is, I guess, a knowing reference to the fact that... Everyone claims to be Irish when it's like St. Paddy's yeah, Day. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, not, not most of the year. Yeah. Well, I claim to be Irish and all sorts of stuff. So it appeals to me in that respect. I think, you know... We do need to get your heritage tested. They ain't having my DNA, gonna baby. No Irish. 100%. It's going to be some Irish. It's not going to be 100%. That we know. I mean, so Guinness are famous for doing adverts that don't actually sell Guinness, but it sells a lot of Guinness. Yeah. And that's very much in that vein. Yeah, this is just selling... This is actually J Jason Momoa co-directed this. So I think this is his idea. Or potentially... Is it just a quiet day on the idea. Fast and Furious set? Yeah, and he yeah, was like, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. just do a Guinness advert. Yeah, I love that when he, he just casually glides across the bonnet of like a sort of hot rod. Yeah, we Great. shouldn't be doing that in day-to-day -day life. Not the to hot other rod people's guy. cars, certainly. There, there's a director's cut, Johnny, which I didn't bore you with, but it's two and a half minutes long. And when he does that across the guy's car, the guy gets out of the car and starts chasing him. Right, OK. So the two minutes is literally just yeah, to get yeah, into yeah. the pub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's right. great. There's like parkour going on and all sorts of stuff. Strong concept. Obviously strong branding. I love the fact he's in like Japan to start with. Is that where he was? Yeah, he's just like Kampai at the beginning and he's like drinking in Japan. Oh, wow. He gets he's a letter. He's travelled a long way. He's travelled all the way to How Ireland. Where did the letter find him? Don't know, mate. He's Jason Momoa. The Think Irish Post. Shit happens to Jason. Right. Um, fine. Fine, okay. It's a fine <laughs> advert. We'll I leave think it it's there. fine. It's not... I think it's pretty good. I think um, if you like Jason Momoa and you are sort of aware of these little cultural touch points like the references to some of his movie franchises he's been in it's got some like little easter eggs that pay off you're like oh that's funny and that'll make you want to drink guinness uh no but i think guinness don't 
they don't make adverts that make you want to drink Guinness, do they? So it doesn't matter. No, I mean, I've written about this. I call it the perfume problem because you can't taste or smell the beer and it's the same with perfume. So you have to make it about something else. And, you know, Guinness are clever to go like, well, because everybody wants to be Irish because of Guinness. Exactly. Um, and I guess Jason, as somebody who doesn't look typically Irish, would be a wonderful... I mean, it's a clever advert. I just, it's not the surfer, is it? So what you're saying is it could have been an advert for one of those genetic testing labs equally as well as Guinness. I mean, Guinness. they were probably delighted by that as well when Guinness came out with that. They'd be like, sweet, you didn't have to pay for that one. Yeah, yeah, they've got like a special hashtag Jason Momoa 10% off code. You can type <laughs> yeah, in. Yeah, you put Momoa into... <laughs> Momoa 10. Whatamyjeans.com. Yeah. Amirish.com, probably a website. Yeah, that would come up. Mm. Speaking of the surfer, we do... There's beaches here. There are beaches. What's this advert? Yeah, Jason Momoa has famously started his career in Baywatch. One of the Baywatches. Wait, is this Jason Momoa? Or... No, it's not. But oh. you, you, you just led us to a beach there. Right. So making a little link. Well, you're going to be treated now, Johnny, to two kind of absolute heroes, right? You've got Snoop Dogg, who's uh, admittedly he's from the 90s, but he's still very relevant today. And he loves yeah, a good advert. Yeah, Just Eat. He loves a good advert, Just Eat and all the rest. And he still makes a banging tune, I, I think, in my opinion. Right. Um, and you've also got Andy Samberg, who is like from, is he from Lonely Island and all sorts of stuff, right? I don't know what that, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so he's like started off in that. Fucking 99 is Yeah, so he like came yeah. from like an internet That's kind of like, meme culture thing, evolved into like a superstar kind of guy, Brooklyn 99 and all the rest of it. And now they're on a beach. And now he's drinking Corona on a beach with yeah. Snoop Dogg. Could be worse. Bet that wasn't on his bucket list, but he's appreciating it all the same. Let's have a look, eh? Yeah. A corona and palm trees. Huh. A corona and calm seas. And a bomb breeze. And some long knees, strong like a tong squeeze. You'll say, ah, oh, geez, when I make your lawn freeze. Was that good? No. Oh. It was incredible. Oh. Lee bad. Oh. But this, this is good. I shouldn't have wrapped. I should have wrapped. <laughs> it's, it's something we've all said to ourselves at some point. Yeah, you don't want to, if you meet your hero, you don't want to embarrass yourself in front of them by doing a silly little rap. So I think it, it works quite well. Yeah, I mean, if I met Snoop Dogg, probably the last thing I would do is rap at him. I'm not sure what I'd do. I'd somehow get a hold of a bifta and smoke a bifta with him. I'm sure he'd have some on him. He probably has got some on he'd him, He'd probably yeah. ask him for one. Yeah. That's probably what you'd do. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be a good in, wouldn't it? Um, probably wouldn't say, do you want to drink a Corona? No, I mean, let's be honest, he doesn't drink Corona, does he? I mean, none yeah. of the people in any of these adverts drink the drinks that they're advertising, apart from possibly Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa does drink Guinness. It's a fine line between, I know it's hard to sell beer, in an advert, yeah. so you've got to talk around it. But that one, again, but the issue is, if it could have been any beer in that advert, then it hasn't done its job. Mm. And I think that one could have been, you know, that to have changed the rap a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I tell you what I like about it is, it's reaching different sort of broad bases, isn't it? You've got your sort of geeky Adam Sandberg fans, and then you've got your, your maybe your more hip hop kind of people that are into, you know, different lifestyles and it's kind of a meeting on a beach over a very average uh, macro beer. I, I think that, I wouldn't even call it average, I think that, you know, that was done incredibly well yeah, yeah, with yeah. the dude mm -hmm. and Sarah Jessica Parker and mm -hmm. the character she is mm -hmm. in <laughs> Sex well, in the City. I, I should have Googled that. I don't think the dude could wear his cardigan on the beach, it'd be too warm. I'm not, I'm not saying that he should be on the beach with them. What I'm saying is that meeting of worlds was done incredibly well in that yeah. advert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hasn't been done so well here because all that's happened is Andy Samberg has tried to be in Snoop Dogg's world. There hasn't been that glorious meeting of, of minds, a common thread found. I feel like the rap battle is the common thread, but it just has nothing to do with the beer. But, but so. they mock one of them doing it, yeah. which is not... Maybe. This name I can see right here uh -huh. Posty. is ab about as trendy as it gets, as yeah. far as I'm aware. Yeah, I don't listen to Posty a lot, but this is a, this is a Post Malone Bud Light uh, advert, Johnny, that I'm yeah. going to treat your eyeballs to. And I'm, I'm intrigued to know what he looks like. Well, I tell you what, he looks different every time I see him, oh. but he looks great in this video. Okay. Um, he's slimmed down a lot. 
and he's he's got an incredible amount of facial tattoos going on. Right. As do... They, they can't come and go, can they? They can't come and go. Yeah. But, like, I do like the attention to detail when he starts... When he has his drink, you'll see what I'm talking about. I hope he's tattooed with the brand. Oh, right, if I hit he's the name. not. Oh. But that's a good idea. Come on, commit, Post. Hey, take a Bud Light Seltz. Yeah, sure thing. What's this? So that's Post Malone? Yeah. <laughs> Is it unexpected? I, I don't know what I think my he's very recognisable, no? I don't know what my expectation was, but it wasn't. He's skinnier now. He's, he's just he's just he's just played at a um, the biggest country music festival in America and played all country music covers. He, he looks like a musketeer that's yeah. fallen asleep because he's drunk and his mates are drawn on him. That is harsh. That's harsh on the the mumblecore rapper there, Johnny. I I don't know about that. Um, I mean, I wouldn't get any facial tattoos. That's for sure. I think my mum wouldn't like it. I wonder what Posty's mum thinks about it. I don't know. <laughs> In the comments below, if you're watching Posty's mum. It's Bud Light Seltzer Mango. Mango? Mango? Have we tried that before? I don't know. Check the memory bank. We're in his brain. Who are these people? These are, this is the control center. So we've gone in his eye, we're in his brain. And the control center are heavily tattooed So po men. Post Malone has ripped off Inside Out from Pixar? Kind of. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'd say Bud have ripped himself inside out. Right, yeah, probably. Nothing, 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 nothing. Must be new. All right, let's drink this puppy. Tip initiated. Tastes like mango! Yeah! Taste buds approved. Let's show we like it. Commencing happy face. Oh, too, too, too much, too much. Too much. That's yeah, better. That's better. Has the seltzer reached the stomach yet? Yeah, we're looking at 100 calories down here. And what do we got from the nose? I'm getting mango! Definitely mango! Right, let's check with the spleen. Go for spleen. Why? You're right. Cancel the spleen. No, wait, 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 wait. More, more, more! Sir, the taste buds are ready for another sip. Hey, hey, can I be a taste bud too? No. I want to be a taste bud! Shut up, spleen. Yeah, shut up, spleen. Yeah, shut up, spleen. Sorry, I'm just talking to my spleen. Bud Light Seltzer, unquestionably good. <laughs> Honestly, if that hadn't been a complete rip-off <laughs> of it's Inside good, Out, right? it's I good. would say that's an excellent advert. I think he's got I think he's got some comedy chops, man. His timing's pretty good. Yeah, it was. Like his face that he point. does, his like robot smiley face is excellent. Yeah. I really like it. And I love yeah, the kind of like going inside the human body thing, which is a total rip of uh they, they've something. got to have paid. They've got to have paid somebody for that. that nah, was, there's there's loads it, of things. There's like Inside Out was like an eighties film where they basically did that. They shrunk down tiny and went inside the body. Yeah, Rick no, and Morty have done not, it. Loads of people have done it. That's not the emotions of people played out by people. No, they're organs. They're organs. They're not really emotions. No, the people in the brain were. They were. They were like looking through floppy disks and shit. There, you've got the you've got the spleen, the taste buds. I don't know. Um, uh, it's great. I, I love that. I love how nobody cares about the spleen, but also yeah, 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 yeah. the taste buds were great. The thinking process was great. It showed the the nose was. Yeah. Hilarious. I love, I love the taste buds of all like these guys in little wetsuits are like super pumped to have the flavour. It's just brilliant. Yeah. They're, those guys have got Although the best technically one. they wouldn't be taste, they wouldn't be getting any mango because no. they can only get umami, salt, sweetness. All right, sourness. all factory response. Just saying, the nose would have been picking up the mango. <laughs> and they did, to be fair to them. But the taste buds would just be like... Yeah. What would they be saying? Sweet, but kind of dry. The, the sweet but kind of dry. The nose tunnel is good though, like the wind nose yeah, tunnel. Yeah, enjoyed that. Very good, enjoyed very that. fun. Like, well pulled off, yeah, well yeah, thought yeah. through. It's great. Just conceptually, in just theft. Okay, so now, Johnny, we've got one of my sort of modern day uh, heroes, Mads Mikkelsen. I think he's a, a wonderful actor. He's like really menacing when he wants to be. Mm. He's very funny when he wants to be too. He's played some really memorable roles. He's played Hannibal Lecter. He's played uh, Le Chief in the best of the new James Bond films, Casino Royale with the, the Tears blood. of Blood and all yeah. that. So he's quite a sort of like... Not a great poker face. Yeah, he's yeah. like a severe looking Danish guy. Well, we're kind of like handsome Danish guy. People know Mads. Yeah, they know, know Mads. Mads. People know Mads. Well, oh, you know Mads, okay. Yeah, I mean, I know this is going to be Carlsberg because... Yeah. <laughs> because he advertises for Carlsberg. Yeah, so if there's like a whole series of these. Some of them are quite light. I've picked this one because it's like playing on Mads' darker sort of... Okay. Uh, Instincts. Probably the best beer in the world. Once true, 
But in the UK, Carlsberg pursued being the biggest. It's not the best. And the beer suffered. But we Danes don't cry into our beer. We focus on brewing a better one. New Carlsberg Danish Pilsner. We brew from head to hop. Has the person responsible for the old beer been dealt with? Probably. Nice little callback, right? To the, yeah. is it the best in the world? Probably all that kind of those amazing campaigns. Well constructed, beautifully shot. Mm -hmm. One of the most daring and incredible advertising campaigns in any format, really, to say our product used to be terrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. It still is, but we're going to tell you yeah. it's not. Hands up. <laughs> we, we went to, I like that. We, you know, it's like we were, because he's such a great actor and I care about what he's saying. I almost believe him that they've probably, that maybe they've changed Johnny. Maybe they've turned it around. Maybe it is possibly the best Danish macro beer you can get. Well, so they, they don't say anymore that the new one is the best in the world. They'd, no. But they do literally say, while he's rowing that boat, he says the beer suffered because they tried to become the biggest the in biggest, the UK. The biggest, not the best. Which, um, it's, I, I, I don't know how the, whichever marketing agency did this and did a fantastic job. Yeah. Uh, Fold 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's UK. They're a UK advertiser. How they persuaded Carlsberg to, to put that on air. Because it's, it's brave and it's bold and it's brilliant. And I remember that campaign. I remember that advert from years and years ago now. It's an incredible bit of advertising. It's good, eh? Um, it's just a shame that Carlsberg Pilsner isn't that much better. I'm no. not even certain it's different. Do you reckon Mads goes home and he go Mads goes home and cracks a Carlsberg's? No way. He's on like zero carbs. Oh, you He's reckon? He's got like hardly any body fat, that guy. <laughs> he looks great. He's like 55 or something. Maybe older, I don't know how old he is. Maybe he's pickled himself. Maybe he has pickled. Well, he's in a film, just uh, on, One More yeah. Round, I believe it's called. Uh, it's a great film. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. Uh, where it's basically talking about, you know, the culture of drinking and being a little bit drunk all the time. Does that make life better? Right. It doesn't, by it the way. It doesn't. No. Um, this is the first one, I mean, I guess with Cause and World's Most Refreshing Beer, they reference the beer. Uh-huh. And the seltzer one did, for sure. Mm -hmm. But nobody's really talked about the beer until the flavour and the quality, except for Matt's. And then he said how shit it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he didn't talk about the new one, did he? Self-deprecating. Literally, uh, it was no. just like, the old one was crap, the new one, But that implies I'm it. that implies that it's better. Well, it's better than crap. And you know what? I'd he's, say that's the only flaw in the advert. He's got a butler there. He's like a little James Bond sort yeah, of man. Yeah, a butler wouldn't serve a bad beer, no would way, he? man, on a silver platter. It's got to be tasty, yeah, isn't it? it's got to be good. Nice frothy boy. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's, it's a 9.9 .9 out of 10. If only, if only he'd said something like, uh, this one's a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> you have shown me some pretty strong adverts in this episode and the previous advert. Come on. But you've also shown me stuff that... I think demonstrates the issue with beer advertising, which is that it's very hard to talk about the product. So you have to find another story. A, a, that a lot of countries, you're not even allowed to drink the beer on right. television. So you've basically got to do everything around beer. It's like cigarette packets where yeah, you can't say. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's incredibly hard, but it's also the only way that macro brewers can sell it. And that's why they ended up, you know, funding basically American sports and all kinds of stuff, because you had to find the sort of the back door. Exactly. Um, celebs aren't the only way of doing that, right? So eventually we're mm. going to be digging into... I mean, I, there's some incredible 50s and 60s adverts. Oh, mate, we haven't even, we've, we've barely scratched the surface in terms of advertising. I honestly think UK advertising for beer from the 90s up to the mid-2000s is cream of the crop, best in the world. Yep. And that is, that's like every awards you look out for advertising. We're absolutely killing it. Yeah. So I'm going to bring you those sometime soon. We're going to, you know, Stella, Guinness, some of the Carlsberg stuff like was amazing. World class. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to that. This has been a real amazing intro. I cannot believe that Jennifer Aniston advertised Heineken. That, that just blew my mind. <laughs> and now I know who Jason Momoa is. So it's been a great double episode of Celebs. And I look forward to whatever else you've got up your sleeve. Awesome. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>